it's really my pleasure to introduce David Painglaze. For over two decades, David has been helping top-tier Australian companies. He is the author of an Amazon top 10 seller, Intentionomics. Outlines the science behind the impact of our intentions. And living really happy, flourishing and prosperous lives. Academically, David is a behavioural scientist. A degree in business and human resource development, an MBA and master's degree in professional ethics. He has an MBA, a master's degree in professional ethics and a Master of Science degree in Applied Positive Psychology. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming David Pingrace. Thank you. In my conference presentations and programs, my goal and commitment is for every delegate to leave with meaningful and practical strategies that they can immediately apply to help them earn, build and maintain trust in the relationships that matter most in their professional and personal success. Go, these two people, they're gone. These two people, they're gone. My son, he's gone, and this guy's pushing me towards the door. <laughs> there, there, there's no, you're right there, it's just boom. Out we go. I have the pri privilege of um, being able to stand in front of audiences like you two days a week for 40 weeks of the year. Uh, and whether I'm talking about sales or uh, customer service, it could be about aspirational leadership, um, it could be about culture change, it could be characters, values, or even employee engagement. The reality is everything that I've been talking about for most of my adult life in this kind of setting has been about relationships. Yes, Matt, Matt what, what have you, has he leaps off the stage, what have you got? Oh, we had to start there. We can only do one thing at once. What do we call that, fellas? We call that focus. Thank you. I've got, uh, I've got two, how many parents are in the room, just so I, I know? Keep your hand up for a sec. Have a look around the room. Have a look at the people that don't have their hands up. Don't they look like they've still got a, a life? I'm just, no, 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 I've got two, no, I've got, I've got two, two great sons. When it comes to why trust impacts almost every measure of success in our professional and our personal lives, the great philosopher Aristotle summed it up best when he said, our actions and our behaviours are our morals shown in conduct. Everything we say, everything we do, sends loud and clear messages to the world about who we are what we represent, what our real intentions are, and whether we are trustworthy or whether we're not. People get your truth. Over time, your intentions, your promises, your actions, and your results are either going to promote you or they're going to expose you. Your intention is not just what you are going to do, it's also an understanding of why you're going to do it, but there's more to it than that. As a behavioral scientist, this is what I've been researching academically and experientially for most of my adult life. What causes people to think and to feel and to act the way that they do? And, and how do our intentions, our promises, our actions and our results impact our capacity to earn, build and maintain trust in our professional and in our personal lives? How do we get more present in the moment? How do we be there, really be there, so people can trust us quicker? What creates that? What, what can we do about that as leaders, individually and collectively? And our conscious mind gets so filled up this, with this noise that we drop into just existing in habit. This is what we mean by being mindless at work, not mindful at work. <laughs>